everybody? I'm here with my main man, Jarpy. In LA. In LA. What an exciting moment this is. Just the thing that we're about to watch. I haven't seen this in like eight years. Before we go into that, I can smell poop. Rex, come here. So our little baby wolf just took a big old poop. Just took a good old poop on the mattress or on the rug. Oh, this on the floor. It's a wolf. You're a wolf in a cat's body. Eat your piece of the tongue, right? Okay, go ahead, go ahead, do it, do it. Eat it. I dare you. We've been wanting to do this for a long time because Dudes in America was part of our dream come true and we got our own show on MTV USA. We had a massive budget. Like, our budget for one episode was more than for a whole season in Finland. And now we can do all the ideas that we couldn't do in Finland because of all that money we got. But the fact was then we pitched, well, I mean with MTV it's the lawyers and the legal situation and like the US rules are, are different. So we would pitch in 10 ideas and maybe like three would get through. Yeah, so it was tough. This, this blows my mind. Even when you got a nut shot, like the stunt was like, get a bowling ball to your nuts. There's a lawyer asking you, are you okay not to wear a helmet? And like <laughs> yeah. uh, a body armor. I'm like, yeah, I'm just getting a nut shot, dude. But that, that's what the whole process was. And it wasn't easy to sell the show. That was like a three year period of selling a pilot to MTV at U in USA. And then they would fire 200 producers and people from the house and they would start saving. They're like, oh, sorry guys, we're off. And then the next year, they're like, we're back on. And we're about to, like, we're at the airport. And we're about to jump on a flight to come to US to shoot 10 episodes of Dutchens in America. And they're like, eh, let's take it back a little bit. Like our whole channel changed. And now we're only doing female programming, like 16 and pregnant and uh, teen mom. That was the scariest moment of my life. Cause I could see it in Yukas and Yarners and HP's eyes that they're trying to figure out how to get, how to make Yarpi pregnant. We like, never figured it out. <laughs> Luckily. Luckily. <laughs> we didn't even try. That's for the, for the record. But anyway, like you can see, there's a reaction video. We want to take a look at Dutchess in America. First episode, which was the pilot episode. And we produced this with Johnny Knoxville and Jeff Tremaine. The whole concept was that the Dutchens, us from the Arctic Circle, come to America and we try to become Americans in these different topics, like how to become a cowboy was the first thing. The first step of the pilot is we went to a legendary bull rider, Gary Lefeu's bull riding school, and we lived with him for four days. And, uh, and let's, let's, without let's further let's BS, let's start watching it. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. Like Hello, that? my name is Johnny Knoxville and I'm here to introduce you to four that was a, such very an exciting friends of mine moment of our lives. I remember this when this first came out. I think you sent pranks. this and to Finland. Okay, the game is on. We're about to do this. And the fun thing is we did we did the Johnny Knoxville introduction. We did it in our office. We just put a backdrop of like mountains and stuff and we put penguins and biking helmets on Knoxville. And uh, Finland, we're not even, Vikings never made it to Finland. Well, and we don't have penguins. And the warning Finland. text by is read by Tuukka Tien, so who's our legendary the editor. The he's like, that no one to he's been on, he's the, the secret dude. Pretty much since the beginning. No one must he's the secret the dude. Of the dude so. And like the way Finns speak <laughs> English is very monotonic. Oh, I remember this. When we first visited the demolition on the roof. Hanging from uh, the harness, God you guy it. is gonna blow up this whole place, and I'm just gonna. So blow everybody told me that I should stand right next to the lid. Yeah, okay, but this, this is gonna go the way that we hope. Well, at like, some point, the like rope right, is gonna go, come down wow. smoothly. Yeah, yeah. It, it's gonna this come down smoothly. So I was like, so it. This has everything. I'd rather not stand on the lid because I'm afraid of heights. So it's okay if I stand over here. Everybody's like, yeah, it's totally fine. This thought was screwed up from the beginning. I mean. The way you blow up skyscrapers, they come down smoothly, but the pyrotechnics and the, the blow up people, the explosions experts, I don't know what they did, but they did everything wrong. I mean, it blew up and curtain fell inside the building, and like that moment that I see him falling in the building, like, oh my god, this is just happened. I, I, I think that was more scary for you guys than for this one. So I realized immediately that now uh, everything can be bad. Wow. Everything happened so fast for me. You guys standing. You know, 
away from it, looking at it. But what's great about Finland is like, we found a factory that needs to be imploded and demolished. <laughs> and we got to blow it up for a TV show. Like, what's the ch chances and how much would it cost in the US to do the same thing? And, and the owner, the sugar factory in. owner, I think we're ready to go when to that go. happened and Yartu was still like out of consciousness, like in and out of consciousness, America, started picking a fight with us. So I started pushing him, shoving him, like almost got into a fight while our friend, here, Yarpy here is like. Yeah, I'll fight it for my life. I ended up broken two of my ribs. I busted this finger. I shattered the kidney this finger. And uh, the funny thing was, me and you, so we actually flew to Macau the next day. Yeah, so we fly from Finland, South Korea, Nepal, and then we take like an eight hour ride on a car to go like along the Indian border to do this uh, fundraising TV show for Finland. While he had broken ribs and shattered fingers. And... <coughs> but, but the fun thing is like right here, we, we wanted a pet pig because we had a pet pig in Finland and we named him Kikkeli. And I hope you guys all know what Kikkeli means. I mean, it's, uh, it's a wee wee. And, uh, and MTV asked us, what does Kikili mean? And we're like, uh, it means a cool little pig. We, we, we made up something. Nobody knew that, you know, it actually means a little pig. But now everybody knows. Now everybody knows. So we wanted to make merchandise. We wanted to make shirts that say, I love Kikili. <laughs> Just as a joke. Well, oh, that's Gary Lefeu right there. Gary Lefeu is such a legend. I think he's like a three time world champion in bull riding. And uh, he knows his bulls. So the whole concept was that we're gonna live with him and try to become cowboys. And it was kind of messed up with uh, with MTV because we sold another show. We wanted it to be like a fish out of water scenario where we come to the US and we just try these things, but they wanted to put it in a game show scenario where we have these things that we check off, like, okay, try to do this, try to do this, try to do this, try to do this. if it's a fail or a success. And then also, um, I have to ask, by the way, so who we're came up with all this names? I, I used to be called the funny fat guy. Each dude soon gets a chance to I, it was, it was I used to be called the fat guy. Now there's I'm just fat. <laughs> <laughs> there's only one winner and three no, you got skinny after you've been dancing with the stars. You were sick, you're second, you're second you're second 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 dancing with the stars. So, I, don't, uh, I think we were just kind of throwing them around. That who's going to be what? With Tremaine and me and the Arno and Tuka. And the some good names, by the I way. Named Susan. Hillbilly, Hillbilly. But I love the stakes in this episode. It's about like we played the good old follow the leader game. So it's like game play, playing horse. The leader shows something that he's going to try to do, and everybody else has to try and repeat the same thing. If they fail, they're out of the game. And whoever loses has to get a USA grant on the club. Yeah, that was all actually just because we wanted to uh, show MTV that we were serious about this thing. This was the pilot episode that we shot. We were serious about it. We wanted to do a TV show on yes. the We shot so many things for this that we didn't put in the episode, but we really put our self on the line of fire. And I think because when Yarno eats crap in this one, he hurt his ribs so bad. But it was, uh, it was fun. I love the whole chemistry between like the Blue Riders and us. And you were giving crap to uh, Gary Lefeu's son. He's like, <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Oh, I yeah. can see that. He's gonna he take caught my hat. Why? He caught my hat. Uh, Pop sucker hat. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> First, Yarno was out of the game, the so he was definitely getting his butt cracked. But it was such a process, like it took three years for us to sell this. And I love the fact when we went to sell this show, and like eventually we got into the room with, uh, with MTV. Yeah, it was me, Johnny Knoxville, and uh, Jeff Tremaine, and <laughs> my agent, because we went from UTA. And uh, Knoxville was right notes on his hand like all over the place and he would just like yeah, read them off his hand at the meeting and what and eventually sold it is uh i needed to jump in and tell them that uh most of the stuff we want to do like bora but with positive vibe so we found oh, here nail piercing remember this 
Hey guys, can you help us? Yeah, yeah it's hard to get, get this done. And, uh, in Finland, we just do this by ourselves. In the US, we have to have a guy who's actually a certified piercing specialist with sterilized gloves on. Like in Finland, we do it on live shows. We just take a nail and we like hammer it through the ear, but uh, in the US, we, that's why the guy has the nails, the gloves yeah, on and everything. Everything had to be certified. And that's a, that's a painful stunt. We've done it like, what, 50 times? A lot of times. The crazy thing is, there's no marks in the ears. And the worst thing is when you get nailed in the, it, it's the first hit that hurts. And then it's, if you get nailed to the same board with your friend, and if you move, when it kind of like rips a little bit, and when you take it off. Yeah. All if you, right. if you get nailed through the ear with the same board with your friend, you gotta team up. You gotta do the same moves. Is it there? That helps. So here's a lesson. Don't get nailed by your friend. You, you have to come here too. All right. What a great lesson. Like it. <laughs> it's like a puppet master. But yeah, the guy hammering the nails through our ears, he's a, he's a professional. So there's some piercing. Like, he does piercings like ear, nose, eyebrows. Hey, look at him. He just well, why are you jumping there? That hurt. Hey, hey, crazy. I think he lost something from his mind when he lost his thumb. Oh, I see blood. Let's yank it out. But now you can. You, you were actually able to. We were able to show blood on MTV. Nowadays on YouTube, blood you get flat in your it's in your ear still. Just leave it. Oh my god. Yeah. Can but I that's been an impressive stunt. We did it for Travis Pastrana on Master Circus <laughs> Show. And they were like, you guys are crazy. I'm like, hey, you guys some motorcycles do double backflips and we just nail ourselves. They, they are so impressed about it. Oh we my just god, you guys are crazy. Yeah, we just get nailed. We just get nailed. We, we get hammered. Thanks for the help. But look how young we are. I know. And that was like post 2009. This, so Stairway to Heaven or Hell, is by far one of the worst stunts that I can imagine. We did it before that for one of the future seasons. Then we redid it on this steep railing. And it's basically you take the stairway railing and you sit on it and you slide down until your nuts hit the knot in the end. And it's not really the speed that you get, but it's the sudden stop. All right. It's, it's Three, exactly that. Two, one, go. Great to be a dude in America. <laughs> oh, oh my God. God. And it's, it's either your nuts, your butthole, or the area between. And it all is equally bad. It's all equally terrible. Yeah, there's no winners in that. There is. The stairway. The most winners. Yeah, that. Feel, feel him for the last time. Nice. And then John I love how, like, <laughs> HP, you can see he's, he's already I'm regretting really it. Like, he regretted <laughs> jumping on that railing Three, from the get go. Two, one, go. <laughs> Thank you guys for making me fly from Finland all the way here to do the pilot. <laughs> and here's another funny story is that we were trying to sell this for three years. And eventually, when we sold it, they gave me the, the call after we filmed the pilot, which, which we're watching right now. <laughs> They called me between Christmas and New Year's and said, we got to start, let's start shooting, but let's start in January. And we're like, what? Three, come, come for me. Come right, you down. First, you got to wait for years and then something happens. Hurry up and wait, hurry up and wait, then hurry up. Oh, get the F up. Look at funny fat guy, though. And I'm like the local, like the local guys, because they were just looking from the hardware store. They're like, these guys are freaking nuts. I'm not laughing at you. Officially, after that, we have no nuts. Look at that. We're in your cocks of your hair. Cocks of your hair. At least I'm a cowboy hat. By the way, you sound about He's the man in the house. This guy. Yeah, we should have. So far, only one dude's in the house. One down, two to go. It's time to make the challenge. Who's out? Everybody's out, everybody. Good And it was, because we shot it with Chef Jermaine and Johnny Knoxville, and like, they're like brothers to us, and we inspire each other. Everybody always wants to put us against each other, but we, 
we uh, we love what we do. Uh, or we love what each other do, and we kind of kept pushing each other's boundaries. And this was the first episode, and this was the first time we really kind of like did something together. And that's why Knox was like, yeah, you guys yeah. yeah. should be cowboys. Like, yeah, we're from Finland, we are natural born redneck cowboys. Howdy! Oh my god. What's up for you? But don't let go. Never let go. Never give up. Never yeah. give up. All the words to the end. Yeah, I just kept on holding because I was committed. I did not want to lose. But we had HP Mr. Sensitive. What the heck? Well, he Please. is Mr. Sensitive. That's one of the guys from the. Uh, What's the TV show called? The, uh, the rich guy. Is that what you Mr. Sunstead? Oh, the good old, the old school one. The... Then find the ideas from the other stupid pictures about the... Oh, yeah, Shark Tank? Shark Tank. Is Mr. Sensitive on Shark Tank? Yeah. I don't watch Shark Tank, even though it's a good show. Look at Funny Fat Guy, though. Look at my face. You're, you're like a Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm going so fast. Oh, 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 so oh, oh, here's a mock pick. Oh, 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 oh. No, it doesn't mean that. Don't say it. I, by the way, I got the cowboy hat from Gary. I wish I was still. You know? The horse is too weak. Horse is too weak. I like, you can always find somebody. It's not me, it's the horse. Yeah, yeah. It's never my fault. Well, you're definitely getting it. Well, we always have. Uh, no, well, now you guys know what's happening to me. So one thing I'm gonna tell you about hey, fellas. What's going working on? with animals and like bulls is that on, they take care of their job. They always deliver. And what they do, which is kind of mean, and I'm, I'm against it, but uh, they tie their balls with a rope around their belly, and every time they like do the jump, it squeezes and it like makes them more mad. The so the longer you hold on to the road, <laughs> the worse it, it gets. So it's the the final but I love the graphics we use. It's like such a cartoony child drawn thing. This thing, even though I already dropped out, yeah, I didn't I have to do this. This is one the of the scariest <laughs> moments of my life. <laughs> so I have to say, many times when we were doing the stunts, it's more nerve-wracking to see your friend do it. Come say hi to your buddy out there. And the bulls, they take care of the job. So what bulls do is they attack and they turn immediately and they like to do a headstand on you. But with their, with their horns. The camp, yeah, they call that. The bull will camp on I gotta give it up to all the bull riders out there. You guys are freaking rock and roll stars. For some reason, the bulls are really angry. <laughs> Go HP! Go HP! No. So here's the a, here's a fact. Uh, I actually did it first. Yes, before did. HP. And uh, my run was pretty alright. So HP's like, I just go in there and get out. And yeah. that's what Jeff Tremaine told him too. Is like, you know what? You really got it. Don't, don't kill yourself. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. It's tough. It's tough. But it was so tough to even like. I remember I was trying to learn how to walk on the post steps. Oh, look at that! It's be like barely. <laughs> Too bad we missed it, but he like fell on his face. That's how you fly over the fence. Yeah, that was. Look at that! Oh my God! He like yeah, yeah, it was when we first arrived to uh, Gary Lapidus' place. Uh, somebody said, okay, this is uh, this one idea. You, you guys know that you need to be uh, walking on stilts, so maybe you. Need to practice a little bit. It was so hard just to practice. No, we did that, but that's that. No, you're, I don't want to say that because you know what? We we came up with it, and then we practiced it in Hollywood. You remember against Hollywood sign? Oh, that's true. We did. So we practiced and we learned how to. But it, I mean. Oh, this is epic. And the fact is, I, you know, I have this picture in my mind, and I ask Gary Lefeu, like, how do I make the ball hit me and so I can fly over him? Is, um, he's like, just offer your butt and 
get ready to block. So he's gonna take care of his job. So I did it like when I fell from the stilts, the bull came at me and I jumped and I hit my butt, but I kind of slid over him. So he just took more speed, went around the arena, came over and just hit me with his horns and I backed it over him. It was crazy when I landed on my feet, the bull was already coming at me. And that's why you have the rodeo clowns there, like boom! Right there. there. Look at that. Like, he's already coming. He's coming at me. Oh well, my god. Uh, but I love Knox's <laughs> comment on when HP did it. You got eight with tits. <laughs> That's, uh, I don't know if I want to do anything else with bulls anymore. I mean, that was pretty freaky. But at the same time, I love the kind of stunts that, um, it's not all about skills it's about what? luck Stop! it's like up to whatever higher power there is what's gonna happen and then it was time for the brand time for the brand all right bring out the you kids. know what you ready for this you for this as well I we needed so. licensed I mean, tattoo artist to do the yeah. the the branding so we actually yeah, needed somebody who's licensed the two person and that's where that's where give Gary Lafue sunk in you a little uh, yeah. little payback because you've been kind of giving him now. <laughs> you guys have gone back and forth. He's like, oh, I know. Who's that? That was gonna be the lucky girl. All right, He's let's start good. with Yarpia. Yeah, we do Yarpia first. But the branding, like the way it feels. So who's part do you like the best? There's Man, nothing. I do Yarpia and too. RP. I mean, like, <laughs> Let I, me at out. least I almost feel like for me. The first thing when it hits, it's kind of like it's nothing. But after that, straight after that, the pain is immediate. Yeah, because the heat goes like it goes from layer to another one inside your skin. And the longer it is there, the more terrible it gets. Yeah, the more deeper it gets. And the funny thing is, like, it was so horrible, not that day, but the next day when it got infected. And you guys, you and HP flew back to Finland like, 15 hours. Yeah, not the next day, but the day, but the day after, me and HP, we flew the whole, like, all together, 20 hours to Finland, sitting like this. And uh, we had to rock a thong, because you can't show butt crap on MTV, so we all had to like, look like, oh, just casually, guys are wearing thongs. <laughs> and it's like, I think, in my opinion, the thong, it's, it's more nasty looking. Yeah, on a guy than a bear ass. I don't want to miss out on this. You want to do but I was like, what's more epic than to get a USA brand on your butt? I can't miss out on this. Like three of my dudes and brothers have a brand. So I'm like, I need one too. I could not miss out on that. So well, that was like, that's you. You too strong. Yeah, yeah. You could even have to get one. Like it's one one. Here it was, was right. it was yeah. funny the next day when I woke up I started walking to the bathroom like why is that back. like why is my it's blanket following me and I looked at my butt like he was infected and it had bled so that the blanket was stuck on my butt and I ripped it out and it's like ah! and I can see the USA letters on the blanket the next episode becoming Native Americans yeah it was uh this whole uh I mean, that was the pilot that we did. And we did it with the whole Jackass crew. Uh, we had Johnny Knoxville, Jeff Remain there on the set. And here's a funny story that uh, I don't know if you guys wanna hear. But anyway, um, one of the nights we were having a couple of drinks, me, Knoxville, Tremaine, and, and Yarpy at the bar. And I kept going to the restroom to take a pee. And every time I would come back, my drink would be filled up. I'm like, what? I don't have this. Went back, you know. I thought I almost finished it. And then Knoxville is like, you yeah, peed in your drink. <laughs> so come I did not say that. You did not tell me this. I knew. <laughs> you wanker of a pee in your face when you fall asleep. Yeah, right. But that's that's the first thing. That was the pilot that we had to do. And when we did the pilot, we're like, yeah, we're going to get this show. And then we got to know that there's like 28 or 32 other pilots that they choose from and what's going to become a show on MTV. And you know, you're a little boy. I come from a town of 500 people, where, you know, tipping over sleeping cows. And then you get a chance to get your own show on MTV. It was, uh, it was crazy mad nuts. 
and we had so many struggles doing this show and you know after a week and a half three of us were in hospital and HP already had a broken ACL so we're all like broken that's more about that on the next episode yeah we're gonna do another one on the second episode and that's when Yarpy compression broke his spine like in a real bit bad way and that's why I'm so short that's not good. You're short because you're a garden gnome. <laughs> garden gnome. You look like a garden gnome, right? Do I look like a garden gnome? Please comment below. Do I really? Yeah, give give us a give us a poop emoji if he's like a garden gnome. If he looks like a poop. Um thank you guys for watching. I, I hope you enjoyed a little behind the scenes for this episode. We've been wanting to do this and you guys been asking for it. Thank you for being the Dutons family, please. Click on the on the bell up uh, upper right corner and hit the like and subscribe to this channel. We're doing a lot now that Yarp is here, a bunch of stunts and gags, but also we want to do another one of these commenting videos. So make sure to check it out. Give us some love. Yeah, give us two thumbs up. Positive anarchy. Thank you for being hashtag. I'm a dude fan. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up.